Hello YouTube, this is Neon and today I'm going to be doing another episode of From Coping to Thriving with Life in which I talk about my personal life and how I'm doing just that. I wanted to talk about an experience I had quite a few years ago at a bathhouse that I had gone to. So, uh, I go to this bathhouse, I undress, I have my towel on, right, there's nothing underneath. I'm about ready to leave the locker room when this individual walks in. There's only one little entrance to the, walk, to, to the locker room. And he's staring at me, and he's giving me kind of a, 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 a perhaps aggressive lustful look and I'm, I'm a little nervous by this guy this guy is, was uh, considerably taller than me I'm 5'9 and this guy was 6 feet 6 feet 6 foot 1 something around that and he was kind of a husky built dude I had assumed we were similar in age I was in my late 30s possibly early 40s it was, this was a few years ago this guy begins to approach me and I'm feeling a little nervous and he approaches me and he doesn't stop. And at some point, I either walk into or I back myself into the locker. And coupled with him somewhat pushing me against the locker and right up on me and he just began to kiss me. And I kid you not, it was amazing. I began to kiss him back. Uh, it was one of those it was one of those fantasies of like. Apparently, I've overwhelmed this person with my sexuality, right? With my sexiness. We messed around after. And I don't remember anything that happened after that. I just remember being just overwhelmed. It was, it was fear. It was lust. It was that, that hetero woman fantasy. This is one of the most common fantasies of straight women. It's the, the ravage fantasy where this good-looking nice guy sees them and he has to have them so he aggressively kisses them right because you know she's giving off the signals if you will that it's okay it's not about like actually being violated by somebody you don't want to be violated by so sometime later I had come back to the bathhouse Excuse me. And lo and behold, I ran into him again in the locker room. <clears throat> so I reminded him of this experience and I told him how much I liked the experience. And this young, this, this man told me, he said, really? I did that to you? I don't remember. He said, I'm only 19 years old and a lot of times, I drink and I drink heavily and I'm kind of like in a blacked out state and I don't even remember what I did during those times he's like I'm surprised I did that to you boy did, did that ruin the fantasy that wasn't fun at all the fantasy and experience was amazing but then to find out I could probably have been that boy's daddy I didn't think he was 19 to me you know like I said he was six feet like, he was taller than me. He was taller than me. So, at least six feet. Husky kid. I thought we were similar in age. I thought he was like 30. But as he was talking to me, apparently this time sober, it, it did kind of seem like he was probably 19. Completely ruined my fantasy. And he apparently was only interested in me when he was in a blacked out drunk state because at that point I was nothing more than a curiosity to him. He was kind of like, wow, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, that was, I did that, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. And that was that. We ain't messing around again. So uh, it, was, it was quite the experience on both extremes. It was humbling. I like men 
in their 40s. I like men around my age. That's not something I pursue, or at least within 10 years of my age. But sometimes things happen, and that was one of those weird things. So I wanted to share that with you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, make a comment, watch a commercial, or recommend my videos to one of your friends. Thank you. Best wishes.